Welcome to ABC Tutorial. Today we'll be discussing anterior fontanel inclusion cyst. Anterior fontanel inclusion cyst, also known as congenital dermoid inclusion cyst or Hadeloye or Deku disease, are cystic lesions overlying the anterior fontanel without communicating with the intracranial cavity. It was first described by Adeloye A and Odeku EL from Nigeria in 1971. It was initially considered a disease of African children. However, authors across the globe have subsequently reported similar lesions in various regions. It is however most frequently seen in black individuals or those with black ancestry and are more commonly seen in women being twice as common in females than males. These cysts usually present at birth as rounded swellings over the anterior fontanel, usually without any pain or tenderness. Over time, they gradually grow. Occasionally, these cysts may become infected. Anterior fontanel inclusion cysts develop from germ cells displaced between the third and fifth week of embryogenesis. These cysts are lined by stratified squamous epithelium and their contents are primarily fluid. In the majority of cases, some secondary skin appendages such as hair and sebaceous glands are present, thus they represent dermoids. In others, only epidermal cells are found and these represent epidermoid cysts. The diagnosis is made clinically and radiologically, especially to differentiate it from other differentials such as emphalocele, meningocele, sebaceous cyst, lipoma, hemangioma and cephalohematoma. Surgical excision is necessary for cosmetic reasons and to confirm the diagnosis. Complete resection is curative.